Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way of using threshold and devil's controls in an arrays mask configuration in order to give you a bit of control over where you are selecting and then adjusting in a dynamic way so you can always go back and change the things you're doing. So let's start off here. We've got an image. We'll go to adjustments and to threshold. And this gives us what looks like a kind of mask because we move this up and down and we've got the black and white that you get in a mask. However, it's kind of reversed in that if you want to select the blacks here, the bottom here, then you might want to invert it or you th just think backwards and it's effectively coming down from there. What you would typically do from here to use a mask would be go to layer and then merge visible. You might want to invert it and then go to rasterize mask to turn it into a mask. However, that mask would then be kind of fixed and you wouldn't be able to change it on the fly. And this is what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we can go to the bottom layer here, hit Control J to duplicate it. Go to the bottom one and turn that off so you can't see it. Go to the threshold there and if it's above here, drag that down into here. So that's our a layer there. Then we go into the top layer there, select that. Then if I go to blend ranges, what I can do with this is on the left hand graph here, because this goes from black to white here and from uh, transparent to opaque here, if I pull this down here, this is putting the whites down so you can't see whites, so now I'm exposing the black and I can use this bit here, the fact that it is exposed to, you know, got a transparency as a way of masking this. I can also go up here, pull this down and get the reverse effect. We can always come back to doing this to do a reversal. So let's leave it on that. Then what we're going to do here is go to this bottom layer, turn it on here, because of the top layer here, when I go from normal here down to arrays, right at the bottom, effectively pokes a hole in this where that is selected. I can also, of course, if I want to select the reverse of this, go here, go back to the blend ranges, pull the right up there and the left down there. Now I've got the darker areas selected. Now, however, I want to use things like curves on it. So I'm going to go to the bottom layer there Hit Control J to duplicate it again. Select Shift and click the top layer to select all of it and Control G to group it. So now I've got a group here. And if I hit the bottom one there, you can see this is all selected. I can always go to the threshold control and change what is being selected here. Note threshold does give a hard edge. So if you can zoom into here, you can see this hard edge. I could go here and put in, say, something like a curves layer here to lighten or darken that selected area. However, if I got the bottom layer on, then you can see you can see where that edge is unless you're making a small change. Sometimes you want to do this, but often you don't. So why are you going to use the threshold here? Well. It's a good starting point. You can see quite clearly where you are going. So I can move this up and down to see where that edge is. I could use a blur on this um, to affect it and sort of soften the edge, but it causes a little bit of problems elsewhere. So another trick is to go to this layer here and then add a levels control. And drag the levels in here so it's just above the threshold. Then what I want, because of the threshold, let's double click on the threshold, look at where this is, that's a 27%. So I'm going to double click on the levels and I bring these two down here to, that's going to be just above 27, so 28, 29, and the black there is going to be just below 27, so say 24, somewhere like that. 
Nothing seems to be happening but because I've got the threshold adjustment on. If I turn the threshold off, no levels takes over. So now, when I'm moving these, I've got a softer edge to these things. Let's turn up the effect on the curve so you can see it more clearly. Go back to levels here. Now then I can adjust. Now the distance between these two here, between the black level and the white level, will give you a feathering across here. So you can adjust where that is. So the general technique then is have the threshold on. Go to that and decide where you want that edge to be. Then turn the threshold off. I note with the threshold, by the way, where this is. Say that's 30%. Then on the levels, turn the threshold off and put these, the black and white, either side of the that 30. And then you can, with the distance between them, work out that softening there. And of course, with whatever adjustment you've got in here, you can adjust it so it's not so strong. So we can see now with the full picture that we're adjusting just that area that we've selected and including the feathering as created by the levels control. And remember of course we can also go back to the background here, go to the blend ranges here and flip these to affect the rest of the picture. So now we've got that curves control lightning is on the lighter parts as opposed to the darker parts. So there we go. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.